The time is right simply because I quit playing about six months ago as a professional football player. And I think I have the time now that's necessary to talk about my experiences in professional football as a homosexual. I didn't do it because it took me a long time to realise how I feel because when I started playing as a professional football player I was in a relationship with a woman and we stayed together for eight years and after that time you know when we broke up I uh, focused more on football because this is what I always wanted to do uh, be a professional football player uh, and only in the last few years I realized that um, I do want to live with a man uh, that I'm gay uh, but I never sort of need to talk about it openly until this day. I certainly think that it's possible and it will happen one day. In my case, it just took longer to realise that I'm gay and, and to admit it to myself. But I think young players these days, uh, when they're sure about their feelings, they can talk about it. Um, and hopefully, by talking about it the way I do now, it encourages some others um, because they see... They can still be professional football players, they can play at the highest level and be gay. It's not a contradiction, as I proved, and therefore, hopefully, it gives some encouragement to young players. If you believe me or not, but I don't know a single gay football player, personally. And just to put this right, you know, we, we didn't get together in the morning, every morning, to talk about our private lives. We got there to train together, to become better players, to win as a team and not to you know, talk about our private lives all the time. That's just an illusion that people have. It's difficult to say for me whether there is uh, an anti-gay atmosphere because so far there isn't an openly gay football player in a European league. And it's probably easier if you compare it to racism. In racism, you know who people dislike when they you know, shout things at them. It's clearly visible. But gay football players so far don't exist officially. Um, I've heard homophobic comments when I was playing, but I think it's always a different matter once people know who is gay and then we can judge it afterwards. So you probably ask me in a few years time and I can tell you.